Hey, it's Lane with WinRTSource.com, and today I'm super excited to share with you a, an app that I had seen in the App Store but hadn't tried for a long time, and I'm really sorry that I hadn't taken a look at it before uh, because it's, it's a valuable tool. It's called Note Anytime. Okay, I will say this. The initial launch time of the app takes quite a bit of time. Uh, I don't expect that it will do that every single time I need to launch the application, though. So I actually just skipped over, uh, I think, about a minute where the app was initializing for its first launch. So anyway, not that big of a deal. First thing I want to show you is the control scheme when you're using Touch. So in the top left corner here, you've got an arrow to go back. This is just going to show you any documents you might have uh, you might have used in the past so you can of course open any of these sample documents and take a look at what these uh, what features the app actually has now I want to say it is for annotating PDFs as you can see here but when you save a file you're going to be saving that file or sharing that file not as a PDF, but as a JPEG. So if I send it to an application, it's a JPEG. If I save the file, it's a JPEG. So if you need it to stay in a PDF format, uh, that will disappoint you. Um, however, otherwise, you'll be, uh, I think you'll be pretty happy. You can create an entirely new note or you can add pages to your existing PDFs. So I think that's pretty uh, pretty awesome. This button here just enables your touch to actually um, pan and zoom around the item that you're displaying. If you select this here, you're going to get a series of different pens with varying thickness. just a zoom control there and there is a marker for red here uh, and then lastly you can switch this option which just gives it a uh, different thickness uh, for a pen with some actual physical shape um, this is the eraser so same basic idea with the eraser I like this graphical touch here shows you the area that you're actually going to be erasing so you know if you've completed uh, or completely erased the item that you're trying to cover over obviously doesn't really delete anything on the document or you can just clear all notes from the page what I would like to see in a future update for the developer if you're listening is let's see some different colors for the different for the different pens and markers and I would like to see a highlighter I don't want this to be completely opaque. Sometimes I want to highlight something. So just a suggestion there. And just so you know, that is not in the application. I have not been able to find that anyway. Next is the lasso tool. Actually, I'll need to go ahead and draw something here. So you grab the lasso tool and you select anything. Anything inside of it becomes selected so that you can increase or decrease the size so you can rotate it um, or so that you can uh, flip it. Let's see if I can get that to work. It's supposed to uh, flip that vertically I believe. Okay so anyway you get the idea and then of course you can actually add text to the page and you can change the size here, you can change the font and as you can see, end up with a huge number of fonts. These are from Windows Font Pack, so everything that you would see in Microsoft Word, you're getting here. And of course, you can increase or decrease the size, change different colors, bold, italics, underlined, strike through. Uh, you can change the um, justification or add bullets. 
a number of different ways, increase or decrease indents there as well. So um, pretty powerful for actually adding notes to an existing document. Uh, I think that it's, I think that this is, is awesome. It's almost everything that I need in a, an application that notates uh, PDFs. I do wish you could actually save the, uh, the completed file as a PDF. That's something I hope to see in the future. And then, like I was saying earlier, uh, highlighter instead of just a uh, marker and different, uh, more variation in the sizes of the pens and the color there would be awesome. Um, one final thing that I did want to show everyone is as you're notating here, a couple extra tools. First of all, if you click in the bottom left, it's going to show you any pages and you can scroll through those vertically and that works very quickly and very nicely down in the bottom right you select an area to edit and this just gives you more precision when you're adding notes to that uh, particular area um, last thing that I want to show you which is my favorite part if you are using your this application on a Surface 2 or any other type of ARM device, you're not going to have palm rejection. So they've built that into the application for you. Tap there, you can resize palm rejection area, move it around, and anything that happens in here, as you can see, it's not drawing. Out here, it is drawing. So that's, that's pretty awesome. Um, my compliments to the developers for that feature. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that application. I hope that that helps you out. And um, please subscribe to this channel if you're just finding this video here. And uh, if you enjoyed it, find the application to be useful. Please give us a like and a comment on the video as well. Thanks for watching.